Last time, we ended in a horrible situation with the shelter under attack and having to run around and shoot the guys that are attacking and the peoples having the life that you've got to save and things of such notes and coherence, articulation, mm. elocution. I don't know, but we're about to start that up again. Please help. I can't talk. This bodes ill for the episode. Speaking of something lacking in all of those things, we're the bittersweet gamers. Lack words do us. No am talk. I am the opinionator. <laughs> and I we squared. Right, back to the attack. Please save everyone. Everyone's going to be killed. Go forth, <sighs> Toko. Get here? Komaru, save them Now's all. Not the time to worry about that. <sighs> Dude, you Jill. Ah. Oh, whoops. That's Shirokuma, you moron! Go after the people in danger, see? What? Oh, God! There's a lot of them behind us who are probably even taking hits. No! Oh. Please oh. stop! You, you need right. to go check back behind you! People are actually pretty sturdy. There's a battery drop too. Like when you fight a bomber, make sure to actually kill it. Well, you just decided not to get the battery for. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, you should bat. You should cancel Jill now. That way you'll still have it if you need it. Use knockback on the bottom. Help me! I mean, these people are actually... Don't seem to take damage, yeah. I mean, that works for me. Until I see my parrots in Makoto, I can't die yet. <laughs> ah! Uh, there you go, that's bad. going to be okay, Kamaru? Just a little bit more. Do your best. What the? What? People keep appearing. Uh, Please, say thank you for uh, saving everyone. Uh, I did save everyone. Oh, did. Thank God. Uh, I was actually concerned. Ah, that's just not your forte. It's all good, though. We succeeded. Uh, uh. Didn't save everyone though, all the people who died when they came in. So now is Kotoko going to show up? Props to Shirokuma for running around and charging into them. That stalled them and kept them from getting near people. That's right! Like, mad props for him. He's a pacifist and he didn't fight back. This is terrible. This is so cruel. But without hesitation, he fought like a pacifist. And <laughs> so, mad props to Shinokuma, like he you said. He put his neck on the line. This is your fault. Oh, don't you start! <sighs> the more he's around... The more I'm untrusting of him? At first, I was thinking that he was just a person who was making the best of the situation he was in a situation that he didn't choose, and maybe he wasn't really up to the task, but who really is up to the task? Yeah, it's not like the person that this sort of thing is thrown upon is going to immediately be the most appropriate person for the job. You just make do with what you, the hand that life has dealt you. But having seen Haiji Toa more, yeah. he's either actually a loser, or rather I should say, he is not qualified. He's way too hesitant. Or he's a spy. Yeah. I hope he's not, but maybe he is. He is a Toa. We found all of these books about Screw the Future Foundation. Toa's the best. As expected, the Warriors of Hope, of course, knew where the secret base was. Yeah. And is Haiji Toa hurt? 
Well, he's got that little arm bandage thing. But he didn't get hurt in this attack. Right. Could be, you know? Even Could if he be. is on the up and up, he might very well be letting his hatred of the future foundation blind his judgment. That is possible. In which case, he's still responsible. Yeah. This whole time, I've been so careful keeping this place a secret. I convinced people to stay underground. Stay hidden so they couldn't be followed. But after all that, this happens. I understand I'm about to mix gameplay mechanics and story, which is usually not a good idea. Oh boy! But you know there was like a Monokuma kid, and as well as multiple Monokumas fairly close to the entrance to this place, <laughs> and that you can just walk up and flip the lever on the other side of the door and it opens? <laughs> this was only... A matter of time. Yes, it was only quote-unquote kept secret because you never looked outside. The only explanation is that they followed you! You brought them here! And then I destroyed them and supposedly saved people. Well, you saved the people that were available to be saved. Yeah. We, we did? When you contacted Future Foundation, the kids must have honed in on you. That did happen. They yeah. tailed you. And you brought them right back here. It's all your fault. But you did this to all of us. Well, hold on. It's not like the Warriors of Hope had some sort of tracking a homing beacon thing on her, but they already knew where the place was. Exactly. And yes, exactly. they did get caught when they were contacting the Future Foundation, but it doesn't matter. And even if that was the case, that they did follow them back here, uh, no, putting the blame on these two is not the correct. The Warriors of Hope are still responsible for their own actions. But that's not fair! I... I didn't want this to happen! Oh, wait! These two protected us, didn't they? If they never came back after their stupid mission, this place wouldn't have been ambushed. That's a baseless accusation. You're just making an assumption. And why don't you have guards, anyway? Well, as long as I'm assuming... I guess I'll go one further and say you guys are spies for the kids. Like we were saying before, doesn't it seem like Haiji Toa is maybe the one who's the spy? Mm -hmm. Like, this is a perfect case of projection, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's not funny. What could we possibly gain from that? I am guilty of all of these things, so I will place my sins upon someone else, turning them into the sacrificial goat, the scapegoat, and then send them out, the sinners, to die. <laughs> I remember an old folk tale about a war between birds and beasts. By using the face of both bird and beast, the bat played both sides. This folk tale sounds awesome! <laughs> but because he couldn't get too close to either, in the end, the bat ends up alone. What are you trying to say? Actually, huh. that was pretty good. Yeah. Bird or beast? I wonder which side you're on. Huh? Damn it! This again! Please, make it stop! Why? Why now? What is that? What, you're asking me? Don't act like you don't know. Lock me. Well, as soon as we saw the prison cell in the shelter, yeah. we assumed this would happen. It's not like Komaru can do anything to stand up to them. <laughs> sure, hacking gun won't work on him. And it's not like Toko can either. Well, if she, she doesn't... could, but... Right, but that's no good. Who knows what Jill would do? Probably go on a jilling spree. <laughs> That'll do, Billy. <laughs> Damn it! They take away my stun gun, then they stuff me into this dusty room. Oh, so she's gonna sneeze and jill her way out. Got it. It's all her fault. I hope she chokes on a fish she caught herself. Oh, I guess I don't want her to actually die. <laughs> <sighs> I gotta focus on Master Biakia now, not that stupid idiot. I can't just stay trapped in a place like this. I gotta hurry and save me. I, I gotta save. Uh oh. Uh, uh, th that was close. I was about to sneeze there. Wow! They actually got us. 
We were totally expecting it to happen. Uh, I can't take this dust anymore. I gotta find Omaru and... Yeah, seriously. Why am I thinking about her at a time like this? So irritating. Just like we thought, it looks like it's indeed time to focus on Toko. Maybe this means we'll actually get to play Toko directly for just a little bit at least. Huh, yeah, without the stun gun, I can't turn into Jill. What, what type, what is it gonna be? Some sort of stealth action thing? Metal Gear Toko. It's a good thing they left me my weapon that they clearly saw me using against the Monokuma. Well, at the very least, it can't hurt them, though I guess she could club them over the head with it and break it. Just seems to me that if Haiji really did care about defending themselves against the Monokumas, that he'd be like, Yoink, this is mine now. Well, despite all the benefit of the doubt given to the guy, it seems like maybe he's not very good at this. <laughs> No, this is horrible. This is a horrible thing to witness and to process. When you contacted Future Foundation, the kids must have honed in on you. They tailed you, and you brought them right back here. It's all your fault! You did this to all of us! It's all my fault. Everyone got hurt because of me. He's right. If I didn't insist on coming back here. The thing about what she's thinking and feeling, even though she knows that it's not really her fault, even though she knows that she did everything she could to protect these people, mm -hmm. there is no way to talk yourself out of taking responsibility for it. Like, you know it intellectually that there was no other way things could have gone and that you really didn't do it. But you also know emotionally that there's no way you'll ever not place that blame on yourself. Like, I'm, I'm just saying I really sympathize with her. Yeah. And if I had just tried harder, if I were a better person, I could have protected them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. Because I'm weak. <laughs> Just like Togo said, I'm so weak. I kept saying, I can't do anything, always relying on others. I never even thought about saving others. And now this happens. <laughs> sneak, sneak, sneakity sneak. Shirokuma, they're gonna find you if you say that. Tra la la! Oh! Why, hello! Well, what on earth are you doing here? Isn't that interesting? My name is Katoko Hatsugi. I'm the fighter in the Warriors of Hope. Come closer to the bars, little girl. Formerly known as Lil Ultimate Drama. Well, not like it matters at all. Open Sesame! Oh! That was the most frightening weapon I have ever seen. Sorry for the intrusion. Thank you very much. A a gun <laughs> with teeth? <laughs> with teeth. <laughs> I saw it too, David. Also, nice Hogan's Heroes reference. <laughs> Phew! I reached way back for that reference. You're welcome. <laughs> I had to deal with baby boomers all the time, so my gags are kind of dated. Don't think too hard on that statement. And speaking of old... Oh, I can't think of any follow-up. I must be nervous. We're the bittersweet gamers. I was thinking that too, but I didn't want to say it. <sighs> My heart is racing faster than 16 shots a second. Master Takahashi would be proud. Don't expect me to get... Um... Yeah, yeah, I already know what you want to say. You were going to tell me a fighter should be a boy. No, I was going to say, why the heck are you letting Komaru out? Yeah, that's more what I was focused on. And speaking of boys, I've heard some people say that slugs don't have a gender. Must we really discuss this? But actually, slugs have both male and female bodies at once. People who go around spreading half-assed lies about slugs deserve swift punishment. It's really good to have things that you care about. Why? Well, I... Why is Nagito's porn music playing? Fighter kick! Fighter punch! Chaka! Ha cha!
Komaru, beat her up. <laughs> What's going to stop you? You're much bigger than she is. Yeah. That's what I told them, that I didn't want to be fighter because I'm not good at PE. I mean, I am really good at physical education, though. <laughs> I was going to say, even though she's a fighter, she had lower hit points and more magic points than the priest. Yeah. I'm never going to let that How Dragon Quest stuff you go. You better held in physical education? Is that... Is that even a subject you can be good at? <laughs> Poor Komaru. She's like emotionally crushed and is like, I don't know how to deal with this situation. And you know what else? When Komaru puts her gun up, you see exactly where she puts it. I don't know what she's hanging it on, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> but where is Kotoko's teeth gun? I don't want to know. The chatterbox blaster. <laughs> there are no girls who dislike health and physical education. That's my theory anyway. Stare. What? Truth is, I'm actually here to hunt you down. But I changed my mind. I'll let you escape. What? It's not like my feelings about demons have changed any. I still hate them deeply. I still want to kill them all in the most painful, cruel way possible. Do you though? Like for example, drowning them in a septic tank or putting a razor under their fingernails. All right then. But that's not even enough. I hate them with full power. But anywho, despite my hatred, the reason I let you escape was because you are super adorbs. Uh... Huh? I feel like she talks just as much as I do. Who? Kotoko. Oh. <laughs> I love adorable things! I collect everything adorbs, from faucets to toilet seats! We're going to be collected, oh no! So, I'm gonna let an adorable girl like you go! What's an adorbs faucet? And how would you collect one? Do you have to collect the sink and the plumbing as well? Or do you just hack off the faucet? Do you have to remove the faucet from the plumbing and take it sort of in its entirety? Or do you just use a hacksaw to remove the top? I don't think it matters, David. So about toilet seats. Really? There is one catch. You're the only one allowed to leave. Four Eyes over there is not cute at all. Ah. W what? But shh. Keep it a secret, especially from the sage Nagisa. He's super strict with rules. Nagisa says I can't even drink soda during meals. So well, you shouldn't. It's really unhealthy. It's not my fault the food is so tasteless. I mean, he could at least let me have a little. Tells me to drink milk, even if I'm eating cereal. It's like drinking curry soup with your curry. Do I sound like this all the time, Billy? As your friend, I refuse to comment. Uh... Anyway, let's go. Go on, get out before those chumps notice. But, but I can't be the only one to go. I can't just abandon all the people here. Oh, something wrong? Is your red flower blooming? Oi! Or maybe you just like locked rooms. Like, you're a murder mystery enthusiast? Well, that may be the case, but a murder hasn't happened in here yet. Come here, Kotoko. I can't just leave Toko behind. Well, I can understand a little hesitation. Why don't you just leave the cell for now? Come on, just step on out. Girls are more adorable if they're a teensy bit selfish. Huh, I just don't know what to make of this. There's a best case scenario, obviously, but it doesn't have to be that. Yeah, I'm really uncertain too. Keep in mind, the chapter started with Monica beating the shit and out of now... her. Or it's just this. Uh. Hiya! This is a denture launcher. So, how about it? Pretty sweet machine, right? The smooth shaft, the fresh pink color, the brutal yet hypnotizing shine. Denture launcher? It shoots false teeth at people? The question is, is how much time do you spend brushing all the false teeth? Well, I'd rather it shoot false teeth than real teeth at people. I agree. I agree. That is definitely a better thing. Yes. Also, this description is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> it's so adorbs, I just can't stand it. Ah, by the way.
the way, my dad was a dentist. And also, Papa was always cheating with his dental assistant. But I guess he had an inferiority complex because he always role-played as a brain surgeon. Yes, a great daddy indeed. Neglecting his business and making me earn money instead. A perfect Papa who I could kill over and over and over and it still wouldn't have been enough. We saw how bad it was for her. Mm -hmm. The ridiculous part isn't that Kotoko was working. That's like the glide path to a great career if you really want to do it and if you can hack it. It's that he sent his wife and daughter to work for that kind of a sleaze bag. Yeah. What is this? I can't move. Ooh, your sleepy face is super adorbs. I bet your face is cute even halfway through swimming a stroke. Uh, however. Being adorbs isn't always a good thing. Cute girls go through terrible things. Two things. Number one, why is her hair standing up like that, floating? That's okay, David. We don't need to worry about hair physics. Fair enough. And number two, she hasn't done anything to make me think particularly ill of her. It's true, I don't like her personality. I, I had said earlier in the playthrough that she was straight up evil and I despise that personality type. Okay. Well, seeing her more, maybe things are more complicated. I don't know. I don't know. Until we see a literal mountain of corpses, it's hard to tell. And if you're adorable too, you have to protect yourself on your own. The chapter started out with Monica beating the crap out of Kotoko and not letting her express quote unquote wrong think. Mm -hmm. And Kotoko herself said, did those two chicks take out Jataro like she's aware that they're beating the Warriors of Hope. Maybe she really is coming in to be like, maybe you can get rid of the other thing that bothers me. Mm, I see. I may not like gentle and nice, but I don't like being punched in the face over and over by an abusive chick either. <laughs> I see. She just keeps talking and talking and talking so when she went into, oh, I hate adults, full power more than anything, etc., etc., well, that's the same thing that she said to Monica after Monica forced her to... To accept the doctrine. Yeah, to stop being curious about things she shouldn't be curious about. And she just blathers anyway, and none of it means anything. Best case scenario, this is Kotoko asking for help. The thing is, is she hasn't bragged about murdering lots of people like Jataro or Masaru did. That's true. And even the violence she said she wanted to inflict on adults was like razor blades underneath their fingernails or just drowning them. No, that's bad, <laughs> but comparatively speaking to what we've actually seen... That's not as bad. Yeah. The, the other children, the other Warriors of Hope, really have done things so much worse. For her to talk about putting blades under your fingernails, I mean, relatively speaking, that is super tame. So, the best case scenario hasn't been eliminated. Uh, like I said before, I'm not going to blame someone who is horribly abused by their family for doing something about it. Uh, I'm not advocating revenge, but it's like I would look at that as as them being a victim. Right. And so far, I haven't seen anything from Kotoko that makes me think she is anything other than a victim. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I'm right. If you can't, you have to take whatever they give you. It's a shitty rule, but I didn't make it. Adults did. So be prepared for that life. So did she take her? Or did she just walk off after letting her go? But punishing her, of course, to get her point across. We don't know. I think she walked off. That's what I think. I don't really have any basis for that opinion, but that is what I feel. W was someone just talking about me? Don't sneeze, though. Don't sneeze. <laughs>
Uh, I said don't sneeze! No, 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 she needs to if we're gonna get out of here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Master Biakia must have been talking about me! <laughs> I wonder what he's doing while he's calling my name. Jeez! <laughs> Master is such a perv. No comment. I guess her hair is Jill, maybe, kind of stylistically has, like, an evil bat thing going, right? <laughs> right? She's a bat, right? Sure, whatever, man. Hey, it's relative to what Haiji was saying. I can't just stay put here. I gotta get out of here and help Master out. Yeah, that door stands no chance. Yeah, nothing can stop her. Oh my God. Hey, Dekomaru, let's go see Master now. If you are of use to me, I'll buy you ramen. I'll even add seaweed <laughs> for you as a top. Hey, she ain't here. Now that's committing to a joke. <laughs> Strange, though. Her scent's still here. Did she perhaps run away on her own? <laughs> and even as Jill, she still thinks of her as a friend. Yeah. Is that like a GPS for Dekomaru's wristband? I see. <laughs> This'll be good for tailing her. Anyway, you want me to chase after her, don't you? And there's the hacking what? gun. And Why the are you taser? giving this splendid gift to an enemy like Perhaps that the other me has some annoying plan hidden up her sleeve, huh? And so you don't kill us, Well, man. doesn't matter. Our goal is probably the same anyway. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah. What is going on? Also, your feelings was wrong! Huh? I've been wrong before. Not so have I, I'm just teasing. What the? Huh? Now then, let's begin with the motivation! That sounds familiar. P please no! Please stop! Is she trying to treat her like she's in a killing game? I don't know. Not gonna happen! Switch on! What? What is this? What the? Oh no! Come on, come on, come on! Let me hear that adorable voice! It's either a tickle device or a groping device, or both. Maybe she's making her suffer the way she was suffering. Maybe so. Sorry to disturb you while you're busy. Damon, what has this game become? I am afraid. Oh, can... they're called tentacles, are they? Of course they are. Okay, A button and the directional buttons. Uh... <sighs> <laughs> so enjoy yourself, but you know, keep that in mind. That you don't want a game over. And don't use auto fire or I'll know. Don't plant a flagpole! It's time to begin the motivation! P please, no! Ah, like that. Okay. Like how this? how does this work? I, like it, don't you? I hold the direction and then hit A when it comes. Oh, I what see. Okay. Whoa! My no, god! No. Come on! No touchy! Come on! Come on. C confirm, you Billy. Like confirm. This, huh? Don't, don't spaz. Confirm. Forgive me. Motivation, motivation. So much fun. This is just wrong. Oh, you think? N no. Please, no. I'm, how am I fighting these off, by the way? I don't know. What the heck? What the heck was that? 
Is that <laughs> even, is this even okay to put on YouTube? Not according to the achievement, keeping the ratings down. <laughs> my, my, you're persistent. But we're just getting started. Oh, joy. You're going to be slowly but surely motivated. Yeah. <laughs> Please, enough already. She is making Komaru suffer the way she suffered. Just in uh, a suitably appropriate zany manner. Yeah. But it's... Ooh, you're so sexy! Really. <sighs> I've heard women are the best just before they're ripe, but this is beyond my expectations! And she's just regurgitating everything she's heard, and I realize I could have chosen a better choice of words for that. Uh... Yeah, this is not cool. But when they rot, they become demons. I have to figure out the perfect timing. Stop it! Why are you doing this? That's what I always asked. I asked them many, many times. The answer was always, because I'm cute! I'm not a bad girl. This is just payback for what happened to me. If you think this is wrong, then what the adults did to me is wrong too, right? Oh, yes! What the adults did to you is wrong! That doesn't justify this! It's a kind of classic thing. Abuse victims as children become often... abusers. Yeah. And if that's the way it is, there's nothing you can do about it. Still, I say, compared <laughs> to a mountain of corpses, she's the victim here. Yeah. Oh, put that lewd body of yours to work, and you'll never go hungry. Ah, that's so awful. By the way. This is the opposite of child porn, so it's A-OK -okay to put in a video game. No problem. What? Isn't it... <laughs> is it wrong for a kid to be doing this? But it's wrong for adults to be doing this too, right? <sighs> Both are no good. If you're slapped on the right cheek, slap them on the left, as they say. Uh, oh. No, no! Meanwhile, Genocide Jill is like, my lewd senses <laughs> Praise the sun! <laughs> is this GPS broken or what? It's going like 35 miles an hour! No! Why is it so fast? Is the Earth spinning away without me? Huh? Oh, monorails are a first for me. <gasps> totally pumped me. <laughs> I just don't feel comfortable about any of this. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Deco Maru! Deco Maru! Deco. Surely we're not gonna find collectibles. Get just move on with it! <laughs> So, it's a robot versus serial killer, huh? Oh, Miss Toko should write it as her next novel. I'd say that the robot would clearly win. Pretty boy. But this is Toko we're talking about. Well, yeah, Toko versus Matakuma robot. Ah, boo blast! <laughs> ah, boo blast! Oh, dang. I guess you better. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but maybe you should, like, build up enough gauge. Eh. Oh! <laughs> Get him, hey, child! It's been so long since I've been in such a hot ride. <laughs> Though I'd rather ride. Why is it like this oh. now? Oh, you know exactly why, because this is the genocide Jill part. I'm gonna build up a big one. Yeah, that guy is a chump. To Jill, you just whack him and off he goes. Jill loves attacking big balls. Ah. Run! Yeah, you better run, kid. So, I wonder if we're gonna fight Kotoko hey, at the end. Dekomaru, oh, that'd be cool. You Jill needs yet? a boss battle, but how would you lose? Oh. Running out of time? I, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing. Get him, get him, and, get him. Ah! Lend me your lust energy! But wait! 
the spirit bomb never beat anybody in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it didn't beat that either. Oh, those things are dirty. Get him. What the? What was that? I don't know. I think it was standing on you. <laughs> Only Master can stand on me. <laughs> I just swing indiscriminately. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Yeah, you've got enough time. She coming for that booty. Oh! Almost to the front. All right, full blast! You show the poor place to appear, Bomber Monozuma. I like how you just knocked it on top of your head. That was it? Just that, Monokuma? <laughs> Boss fight, let's do it! Jill is in the his house! Toko? Oh my, my! Interrupting something. No, it's not like that. Please save me. I will not let you. Huh? Adorable <laughs> girls. God, quit it with the panty shot. And girls who aren't adorable deserve even harsher punishment. Hey, I ain't ugly. I'm just way below average. <laughs> <laughs> You're plenty that ugly. Cannot enough. possibly do anything to Jill. You're so gross. Sticking out your tongue. Wow, like really that. do. Not adorbs at all. Yes! Well, no! Uh, oh, my it's on the face! <laughs> More like a pretty girl. Well, I don't know about that. So uh, of yourself. Your You're the type huh? of girl no left. one invites to what? a sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> no! Is what this the? really okay? I thought we said this was A-okay to put in a video game. It's hard to focus in on her. <laughs> it's also spastic. I know! Can can oh. you like Yes! Yes I can! Isn't this a little violent? It's okay! The game's only raised to be Gio! My ah. clothes! What the heck is happening? The clothes! Jeez! Well she's Great not gonna slice up the, the flesh! Ah. So yeah. can you dodge behind her and then target her with like the Oh I hadn't thought about target that. thingy? Um let's find out. Cause otherwise we're just gonna be this ing the entire time. Ah, uh, so it doesn't just target her immediately. Well, hold on a second, let's uh Oh there we go! With that it's like you can lock on. Ah, she attacks so quickly. I think it might just be better off to Get your old man teeth off me! Okay, you've almost got it. Eee! So <laughs> what the <laughs> what? What is even happening? Justice! No! Pervert! Perverted to the extreme! Get her, get her with it. I'm trying to find a... I've been playing so much Dark Souls, I'm trying to find a break that I can make an attack in. Well, it's working. Aha! She delayed. Well played. I mean, I'm actually 18, but... What? Is really too okay, much. that's hilarious. If I get the chance, I'll say something about that. <sighs> okay, so the 18 thing is all you have to do to get it past the, the, the sensors. sensors in Japan and ratings in the US is to, is to just say, no, no, <laughs> don't worry about anything you see. They're actually 18. They're, <laughs> they're adults, so they're not minors. <laughs> This is, I don't really feel comfortable with any of this. Oh my. <laughs> Shooting blanks, are we? Then again, you were never loaded in the first place. <laughs> no comment. And maybe it's because a gun that shoots chattering teeth is not actually that effective. But you can't have a child using a real firearm in a game in Japan, you see. <laughs> Hey, don't make that face, or 
or else you'll end up in a far more vulgar situation. This entire thing is a giant middle finger to uh, all of the like content regulations. <laughs> It is really funny. Oh, no, no, no. And that's when everyone died. Uh, well, there. You better stay put. If you don't, my hand might slip. And then I go a snip, snip, snip. Has anybody ever noticed how much better the voice acting is when it's not tied to anything on the screen? That's because languages have a different cadence. It actually bothers me perhaps more than it should when on screen they, they try so hard to match the cadence and the lip flap and everything mm -hmm. and that makes sense, but it always sounds really bad. That's all. That's all. Just appreciating the difference in quality in the voice acting when it doesn't have to match something. Snip, snip, snip. You're free. Jeez. Now don't go getting captured by some little runt. I thought you wouldn't come. Oh, I did. I mean, right after we had that fight. Fight? What the hell are you talking about? I just want to save Master Byaku. <laughs> <laughs> And in the end, all Toko, I, I can't speak for Jill, but in the end, all Toko really ever wanted was this. Acceptance? Yeah. <laughs> What's this unexpected girl-on-girl -girl development? Whoa there, lady! I ain't got that kind of taste! Get off me! She says that she appreciates the entire thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... I tried to leave you. I tried to run away. And I said such horrible things, like that you don't have any friends. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry, Toko. The downside is Toko didn't get to hear the apology, but... Uh, um, well, that's what the games... That's what these games seem to be like, Toko being absent for the moral catharsis. I have no right to accept that apology. Wow. Oh. Huh? You seriously are stupid. Why the hell are you trusting a serial killer? What? What happened? Haven't you pieced it together? Nothing. Nothing at all. Huh. Satisfaction! <laughs> and she changed back herself. Oh. Ooh, what, what, what is going on here? Give that apology again, okay? Yeah. Um, let's just go no. for now. It would be a hassle to explain. But she's the one who needs to hear it. Right? Jill even turned back into Toko just for this. Y yeah, okay. I don't really get it, but I definitely don't want to be down here anymore. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to be down here at all. Kamaru Naegi? More like Kamaru Naegi. Good night, everybody. Oh, come on, that wasn't even clever. <laughs> And so, having stripped the clothes off of the little girl, we make our hasty escape. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable about this. Neither do I. Memoirs of Kotoko Utsuki. Lame. So lame. Why are the bodies of demons not adorbs at all? Like, their bodies are bigger for no reason. Except for like the whole growing into adulthood thing? They're not even filled with adorbed things inside. What is? It's like an egg that has nothing inside. Empty Dumpty. I should kill them all just for that. Speaking of eggs, there are two ways to write egg in Japanese, but you can use the words in different ways. The first egg means shelter from where life is born. The other egg means a cooking ingredient. Woohoo! Isn't trivia just so adorbs? Oh, really? You can write it that way? Huh. I guess I've always only ever used a second. <laughs> Beware of wearing bear undies. She keeps flashing them all over the place. It's like they're trying to bait you or something. Ugh, I hope this gets past the YouTube filters. <laughs> uh, are, are we going to have a proper boss fight now? Do we need one? I guess we do. 
I wonder what bullet I'll be using. Let's see. Is it move? No. Thanks to you, I did manage to get myself a new outfit, but you wrecked the moving fighter castle. It was a monorail. I feel furiously angry. You have seriously made me mad. <laughs> the nonchalant way she has said it. Like, I will now murder you all. Your face doesn't really match up with what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is acting, after all. Inside my heart, I can't help but feel unlucky. Speaking of unlucky, you really should have let me motivate you a little more. No. Honestly, getting you out of inflicting that situation was just as much of a victory as getting out of the situation. Yeah. You could have felt so good. Your mind would have been blown. You'd become so twisted. Yeah. I don't want that to happen. Oh? You're going to abandon the responsibility of being a dwarps? That's not fair! Being a dwarps means being an object of jealousy, being called ugly bitch, or told to die. Who knows what happens to them when the kids carry them off, but I feel like things should really turn out better for her. Same here. If that doesn't happen, being a dwarps just isn't worth it. I think what you're describing is called Undo resentment? Someone needs to save her from herself. And another thing, Omaru is not as cute as you say she is. She's like slightly above average. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Undo resentment? No, no, no. This is the work of demons. All I wanted was to be the same as everyone else. A normal kid who didn't stand out. But she used me to get her dream even if it meant going to market with me. Well, the guys who wanted that are to blame too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Business with a mother and daughter set? How perverted can adults be? No one is arguing with you. I, I would not blame someone for that type of hate and resentment, and I do not. Oh, my mistake. I meant demons, not adults. Uh-huh. Seriously, I'm so ashamed of myself for actually listening to what those ugly demons used to say. You're a kid. You didn't really have a choice in the matter. The person who was supposed to be protecting you was compliant in it. Both of them. But everything's changed now. And the way that she talks, it's not the same as the way that Masaru or Jataro talk. Yeah. As someone who knows what makes adults happy, I also know the things they don't want. Using what I've learned, I can take down the demons and make them suffer as much as I did! Not all adults are like that. There are good people who- Yeah, like her third grade teacher whose spirit manifested in her bedroom. He was so kind and it was never inappropriate! <laughs> then why didn't anyone save me? Yeah. If the world is so good, why didn't anyone help me escape? <sighs> There's not enough good people to save everyone. Not everyone can be saved. Well, doesn't matter. What I said just now, that wasn't how I really feel. That was acting. No, it wasn't. Just leave it to the former child acting genius. And a perfect performance is easy as cake. Hmm. And also, huh. I've been saved by Big Sis Junko anyway. And Toko's reaction? Yeah. I know where she's coming from, mm -hmm. she says. Mm -hmm. That name again? I'm sick of hearing that name! Oh? Does Miss Ugly Glasses over there happen to know Big Sis Junko? Yeah! Miss Ugly Glasses does know Big Sis Junko. She helped get rid of her! <laughs> she won, Junko lost! <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Miss Ugly Glasses? You guys have no idea. You don't know how horrifying that woman really is. You were fooled. I don't know how she convinced you that she was some sweet, gentle girl, but... Oh, here it comes. Oh, boy. G gentle. You done goofed. Gentle. Please. <laughs> Stop with the gentle. <laughs> when they're gentle, I... That's why she's such a, frankly, why she's such a bitch, is because being nice reminds her of them. No, I don't want gentle, I don't, please stop, anything but gentle, please no, stop with the gentle. Uh, I, I 
assume that the word she's using for gentle is yasashi, which does mean nice at the same time. Yeah. What happened to her? The, the reason that that kind of matters and why I mention it is because it's a way of, of kind of hazily moving in and out of different meanings of the word. Mm, I see. To kind of change how... Uh, well, who cares? Never mind. I care. This doesn't look like acting. Oh, yeah. No! I don't want gentle! I don't want any more gentle! I... I said I... <laughs> Anything but gentle. I said... You know what to do, Komaru. I beg you, I beg you. No more. Anything but gentle! Jeez. Oh! <laughs> oh. Highlander the Great? Highlander the Great. Not bad. Goodness. Just hurt me instead. Also, the robot really needs legs. With the demon hunting prize money, I'm gonna buy a stork so Monica and I can have a kid! Uh, I can't lose! I won't lose! I do like how it's red. The robot has to have a weak spot somewhere, right? And seems to have a Neo Zeon emblem. Let's try to find it. Okay, that wasn't it. Yeah, don't blow all your bullets, though. Uh... Yeah, it would have to be the panties, wouldn't it? I don't think I can target you be gentle that. With me? I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Like you have to hit the Kuma with paralyze, and then you just gotta find what to shoot. Ah! There's the motor Kuma symbol. to explain it, though. Hey, that gun is totally cheating! You can't use it! It's against the rules! Well, how was I supposed to know that rule? You guys Sorry. came up with them! <sighs> you sure have gotten mouthy. I mean, this is probably gonna kill it. Yeah, this is pretty easy. Flush down the toilet! Special attack! Mega splash! Dang it! Uh, as soon as another heart drops, you'll be fine. Oh, I see. You gotta knock him back first. Special attack! Mega splash! Easy peasy. Turning. Take her out. Uh. Tilting world. Mahojin Guru Guru Why? was the name Am of the I series she was referencing before. <laughs> uh, the, the name means Magic Circle Spinny Spinny. <laughs> uh, it was a Dragon Quest parody show. That makes sense. In oh. the uh, 90s. No. Yeah, no. Ha! Yeah! Really did save her, huh? That's good. That's really good. Ultra despair girls, after all. Pervert! This is borderline indecent! My dear, we crossed that line quite some time ago. And that was your fault, too. No, I'm I'm really glad she she wasn't the same as everyone else. Yeah. 
I mean, it seems to have implied that she just captured people and rope tortured I, them. I, I don't know. I, I'm not even making a statement on anything like that, but she was the one who was full of regret. Hate, it's true, but not the same kind of hate. She, she was just talking like the... Uh, I've made my point plenty of times. It's fine. Shut up! This time around, <laughs> I am definitely going to get you to talk. Where is Master Byakia? Look, even someone like Toko was able to deal with their problems. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like we always said, all you gotta do is, is ask for help, is ask for forgiveness. And Kotoko has been screaming for help over and over, so. What are you doing to that child? Hey, no, no, no. How immature of you. No, I guess it is rather demonic in a way. No, 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 no. <laughs> we saved her fair and square. You screw off. Keep your filthy hands off of her. Ganging up and abusing a child? It's like a special skill all you adults have. N Nagisa! Toko, look, it's a pretty boy, right? <laughs> I'm not saying murder him. I just beat him up. Beat him up before something else happens. Right? What? Abuse? You guys are the ones who started all this. You want to talk about fighting fair? Sending killer robots against normal flesh and blood people? Don't even begin to get on that high horse, son. All we want is a peaceful paradise. Where children can live without fear. Yeah, 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 whatever. Don't make me laugh. You've been using those monokumas this whole time to murder adults. She's right. If all you wanted was a peaceful paradise, you shouldn't have done it like this. There is no other choice. We must kill them. If we allow them to live, our paradise will be undone. See, and that's where you lost me. <laughs> and if that happens, we will be forced to endure our pain once more. Nothing will change. We can never be at peace until we have wiped out every single one of them. Dude, this is a you problem. 100%. So we have to kill the demons to protect our world. It is a kid standing in front of you. Grab him and beat him up and carry him <laughs> off. Like, don't let things get worse. Right? That sounds like something from a damn video game. Have you lost your mind, kid? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, you're probably right. We've all gone mad. Yeah. Masaru, Jotaro, Kotoko, huh. Monica. We're probably all insane. Broken. I, I like how he used the word broken, the same word I used several times. But whose fault is that? The adults are the ones who broke us. You're not wrong about that. That None of that was your fault. However, you've taken it too far. Nagisa. You want to hear the truth? We're scared. We're all terrified of the adults. Hearing their footsteps. Sensing their presence. We can't help but feel scared. Completely terrified. As long as adults exist, we cannot rest. We cannot live in peace. At this point, the damage is irreversible. That doesn't make it okay for you to massacre every adult in this city, however. I... I figured that something like that was behind all of this. And I do pity you even pity but no matter how pitiful you are it doesn't mean that you can hurt others it's just like i said at some point that i do pity them but pity isn't the same as sympathize you know? yeah to just treat them how they treated you that's just going to make everyone equally miserable komaru is absolutely right so you're saying we should just take it you're saying we should abandon all hope? No! You should... You should find other adults who do give a damn. It... No answer is easy. There, There is no simple thing. I wouldn't even pretend for a moment that there is. But although there's not an easy answer as to what you should do... There's an easy answer as to what you should do! Definitely this is wrong! Hope? No. It's fine. Let's end this already. I want you to leave this town. Huh. Huh? Just leave and quit causing us trouble. 
Yeah. But she's going to you say no. You want to no. run away, right? You want to escape the city, right? Then I will let you leave. Satisfied. That way she won't keep beating up the Warriors of Hope. That way Nagisa won't keep losing his friends. Yeah. Nagisa, are you sure? It's my decision. As leader. But what about Monica? I'll persuade her. No, you won't. I'll bear her wrath for your sake, is what he said. Mm. Hold on. Are you seriously saying you're just gonna let her go? Until you two arrived, our revolution was progressing smoothly. I don't want you to interfere any longer. So please, just get out of here. Stay away from us, please. This is exactly what you have to do to correct this situation as much as it can be corrected, which is to destroy their worldview. Mm -hmm. If if they're already terrified of Komaru and Toko, then it's Komaru and Toko that have to stop them. Yeah. They have to they have to have it beaten into them that this is the wrong response. I'm not preaching what the right response is. I don't know. And what happened to them wasn't their fault. But this isn't the right thing. This is the wrong response. And so that has to, it has to be quashed. And yeah, there's a lot of fear involved in that. So what about all the fear that's been felt by all the people that they've killed? They have to be made to know that. You can't just run away from fear. At some point, you have to deal with it. No, this is quite nice. I'm enjoying this very much. Uh-oh. And you know what else I'm enjoying? Stopping this video right now. <laughs> How cruel. Uh, well, it's not that cruel. No, it's pretty cruel. No, man, it, it's not that bad. It's gone on for a long time, right? No, I still think it's pretty cruel, man. Well, look, the only reason it's gone on for a long time is because we keep talking about it instead of passively watching and just inserting laughs. Oh, you mean like how we're dragging out this ending by just talking? Yeah, I suppose it is rather similar to that. Come on, let's drag it out some more! Why don't you tell us how you feel about socks, David? You can start right now!